Assalamualaikum and good day everyone For this video, kita akan tengok the second part of subtopic 2.1 For this video, kita akan cover learning outcome D, E, F, G Kita akan tengok formation of Lyman, Balmer, Paschen, Bracket and Fun Series There are two type of emission spectra The first one is continuous spectra and the second one is line spectra. Okay, for continuous spectrum, as you can see, ini adalah contoh of continuous spectrum. There are no boundaries between the wavelength and it contain unbroken sequence of frequency. It is produced by incandescent solid, liquid and compressed gas. Okay, so yang kamu boleh nampak hanyalah, yang boleh nampak dengan mata kasar hanyalah this visible region which is within this boundary lah. Okay, 400 to 750 nanometer sahaja. Okay, yang lain-lain kita ada juga gamma ray, x-ray, UV, visible infrared microwave and radio frequency. So, beza continuous spectrum ni. Tak ada boundary between each wavelength. Okay, kita tak nampak boundary yang jelas. Right, so macam mana formation of continuous spectrum? Okay, ni kamu dah belajar before this. Dalam SPM, have light, sumber cahaya. And then light will be passed through slit. And then dia akan lalu prism and dia akan pancarkan cahaya dekat screen. So, kamu akan nampak this spectrum. Tapi berbeza dengan line spectrum. So, from the name, ini adalah contoh hydrogen emission spectrum for visible region. Okay, sebab visible region, you can see the color change and ini adalah within the range yang tadi kita tengok, within the visible region. Okay, and emission, it comes from the word emit. Energy. So, bila electron fall from higher level to lower energy level, dia akan emit energy in form of photon ataupun release energy lah. Okay, so macam mana, apa yang membezakan this line spectrum dengan continuous spectrum tadi? You can see here, kamu boleh nampak perbezaan yang jelas. You can see, dia putus-putus. Discontinuous. And discrete line jelas. Kamu boleh nampak setiap satu garisan tu. And setiap line correspond to a specific wavelength or frequency. Now let's have a look at the formation of line spectrum. So macam mana kita hasilkan this line spectrum? So we have bulb. Okay, itu sumber cahaya. And it is also sumber energy. So when you have light emit. Dia pancarkan cahaya through prism and then the emitted light or photon is then separated into its component by prism. And then each component is focused at definite position according to its wavelength and it form an image on this film or plate. Okay, this is called as spectral lines. Okay, let's recap apa yang kita dah belajar dekat sebelum ni, video sebelum ni about the transition of electron and relate macam mana formation of line spectrum. In this case, kita nak focus specifically on the formation of hydrogen spectrum, hydrogen emission spectrum. Okay, so electron kita tahu dia berada dekat petala yang pertama N equals to 1. Okay, so it, this electron in hydrogen atom, it possess a quantized energy, specific energy dekat N equals to 1 ni, kita dah tahu dia ada specific energy. Okay, sepanjang N equals to 1 ni. Okay, so macam mana nak tahu energinya, kita dah belajar before this guna formula En. Okay, so it possess a quantized or fixed energy and occupy the ground state. But when you supply energy daripada luar, daripada light contohnya radiated energy, electron 
akan absorb the energy. So, dia akan absorb certain amount of energy cukup untuk dia excite to higher level. Okay, so in this case, green line ni, this one, dia excite pergi and equals to 3. Okay, and kalau dia absorb lebih lagi energy, dia akan excite to higher energy level and so on lah. Okay, so this process is called as excitation. So, bila electron tu dah berada at excited state, you know it is unstable bila dia berada di atas. Dia tak stable. So, dia akan fall back to its ground state. Okay, so bila it fall back to ground state, okay, dia akan emit energy in form of light ataupun photon. So, benda ni yang kita nampak dekat line spectrum yang terhasil dekat line spectrum tadi tu. Okay, so let's have a look at this example tadi. Can they excite? And then, electron unstable, so it will fall back to ground state. So, kalau in this case, semua electron fall to this ground state-nya adalah n equals to 2. So, means this is Balmer series. Okay, you can see here, yang hijau ni adalah the first line. Okay, so the first line, emission from 4, transition from 4 to 1. Dia akan hasilkan first line. Okay. So, bila electron drops from 5 to 2, dia akan hasilkan second line. And then, bila electron drops from 6 to 2, dia akan hasilkan the third line here. Okay. Alright. So, kalau kita ada this kind of energy level diagram, this kind of transition akan menghasilkan line spectrum begini. Okay. So, kalau you nampak dekat sini, all the electron drops to n equals to 1. So, maksudnya, this is Lyman series. Okay. So, macam mana kita nak tahu Lyman series ke, Balmer series ke? I will explain to you later. Okay. So, ini another contoh for Balmer series. You can see all the electron... Okay, tak kisahlah daripada level, higher level, 3, 4, 5 and so on. All of them drops to n equals to 2. So, means this is in Balmer series. Okay, so is the energy level, ini kita panggil energy level diagram. So, adakah dia sama dengan line spectrum? No, they are not the same but... From this energy level, kita akan hasilkan, we will produce this line spectrum. Okay. Right. So, okay, remember that kalau anak panah naik ke atas, itu adalah electron absorb energy. Okay. So, dia akan excite naik atas. And then at higher energy level, it is unstable. So, electron will fall back to lower energy level and... That means, kalau arrow ke bawah, electron release energy in form of photon ataupun light cahaya. Okay. So, the first transition ni akan menghasilkan first line. Okay. Second transition di sini. So, the first transition akan hasilkan first line. And then the second transition akan hasilkan second line. And then the third transition daripada 4 ke 1 akan hasilkan the third line. Okay, and then the fourth line here. Okay, is the last one lah. So you can see that from first, second, third and fourth, jarak daripada line tu, dia semakin closer to one another. Why? Nanti kita akan explain lah kenapa. Alright, so as I mentioned before, kita ada lima series. So, lima series tu apa? Lyman, Balmer, Paschen, Bracket and Fun. Okay, so macam mana nak ingat? Lyman, Lehmann, 
balma balik pascen pasar bracket break fun putus ok so fun ni mesti ejaan betul lah p f u n alright ok so you can see for Lyman series all the electron will drop to n equals to 1 so balma semuanya akan jatuh pada n equals to 2 ground state nya so pascen series pula it, it will drop to n equals to 3 bracket n equals to 4 and fun here it is n equals to 5 ok so ingat ada Lyman, Balmer, Paschen, Bracket and Fun biasanya soalan dia akan bagi tahu in Balmer series the transition is from A to B ha, contoh dia akan bagi tahu dalam what series so from there kamu yang kena tentukan what is the ground state for that transition or vice versa lah. Ok. Alright. So, persoalan tadi. Why the spectrum are getting closer to one another? So, from first line. First, second, third, fourth. Ok. Why the gap here are getting closer to one another. So, kalau ada banyak line, dia akan semakin rapat, rapat, rapat. Sampailah convergence limit. Okay? Alright. So, this can be explained from this relationship. Okay? So, this formula delta E equals to HC over lambda. So, bila delta E ataupun change in energy dia besar. Okay? The value of wavelength is getting smaller. So, bila delta E besar, wavelength kecil. So, you can see the relationship is okay, so ini from previous slide. Okay. So, you can see semakin besar delta E gap between the energy. Okay. So, kita tengok kat sini purple ni yang paling besar dia punya delta E. Perbezaan in energy. So, relationship dia dengan wavelength wavelength dia semakin kecil, smaller. So, you can see between third line dengan fourth line here, jarak dia pendek. Gap dia the gap is closer. Ok. And vice versa lah. Kalau delta E for first line here, you can see delta E dia small. So, you can see wavelength dia bigger. Okay, it is because delta E is inversely proportional to wavelength. So, itu dia punya explanation. Right. So, the first line, the first line yang biru ni, it has the lowest delta E value. That is why it has the biggest wavelength. So, it will result to the biggest gap here between line 1 dan line Dua. So, remember line spectrum tadi dia ada specific wavelength, specific frequency. So, we can see it clearly from this line spectrum and kita juga boleh kira. So, the key point here, kamu kena take note. So, kamu kena take note, biggest gap tu. Okay, so macam mana nak tentukan? The, uh, the first line ataupun second line ataupun the last line kita tengok dekat this line spectrum first thing first cari biggest gap ok so bahagian sini adalah the biggest gap kan so means yang paling hujung adalah first so you can start numbering the others so first, second, third, fourth, fifth and so on lah Okay, so let's say you are given with this line spectrum. Macam mana kita nak tentukan which one is the first line? Okay, so first thing first, kita cari biggest gap. Okay, so bila ada biggest gap between the two line, yang paling hujung adalah first line. 
and then yang lain-lain tu adalah second, third and fourth, fifth and so on lah. Okay. The first line here has the lowest delta E value and it has the longest wavelength. The last line, it has the highest energy delta E value but it has the shortest wavelength. So that is why dia punya gap semakin besar delta E semakin kecil dia punya wavelength. So, dia punya relationship is inversely proportional. Alright, so now let's have a look at the relationship between delta E dengan frekuensi pula. Kalau tadi kita tengok relationship between delta E dengan wavelength. Sekarang kita tengok delta E dengan frekuensi. So, from the formula, delta E is equals to Planck constant times frequency. So, delta E is directly proportional lah to this frequency. Bila delta E besar, the value of frequency pun besar. Sebab dia directly proportional kan? So, senang kan nak faham kalau kita nampak formula. Okay, so from the formula, kita boleh tahu the relationship between the two terms. So, kalau first line has the lowest delta E, means it also has the lowest frequency. Okay, so macam ni tadi, kita ada first line here. So, maksudnya dia adalah the lowest delta E and lowest frequency. But, okay, tadi kita belajar, it has the biggest wavelength. Okay, and vice versa dengan last line, terbalik lah. Dia adalah highest delta E value and highest frequency but delta uh, sorry wavelength dia the lowest okay alright so let's have a look at this line spectrum okay so ini you can see all the electron drops pergi and equals to 1 so ini adalah dalam Lyman series bila electron fall from excited state to lower energy level semuanya jatuh kepada n equals to 1 so dia adalah Lyman series okay and it can be formed in ultraviolet region sahaja for Lyman series so from this line spectrum kalau dia bagi begini cari first thing first cari biggest biggest gap okay so biggest gap is between here so maksudnya first line kamu start daripada kanan first second third, fourth ok, so from left to right what happen to the delta E delta E berkurang, semakin kecil, ok frekuensi sama dengan delta E, frekuensi pun semakin berkurang from left to right ok, and the wavelength is opposite to delta E so from left to right bacaan left to right frekuensi tinggi ok bigger getting bigger ok so kalau dia punya line spectrum vice versa kamu buat satu-satu step by step first cari biggest gap ok and then refer kepada formula Delta E tadi Relationship delta E dengan frekuensi Dan delta E dengan lambda Okay Let's have a look at this table So kita ada beberapa series dekat sini Lyman, Balmer, Paschen, Bracket and Fun So macam mana kita nak ingat Tadi kita dah belajar ni Monique Lyman balik pasar break putus Okay So ground state untuk Lyman series adalah 1 n equals to 1 so n final ni mesti semua elektron jatuh dekat n equals to 1 ok so initial dia mestilah daripada level atas takkanlah n equals to 1 contoh ini n equals to 1 so kalau elektron berada di n equals to 1 takkanlah dia nak drop pergi n equals to 1 kan so dia mesti from higher level sekurang-kurangnya n equals to 2 and then dia boleh juga dari n equals to 3, 4 and so on lah. And the spectrum region is ultraviolet region. Okay, so untuk the next one, Balmer series, 
Balmer series n equals to 2. So, dia punya final state here, final ground state dia adalah n equals to 2. So, maksudnya electron transition from sekurang-kurangnya n equals to 3, 4, 5 and so on lah. Okay. So, it is belong to visible region. Okay. So, kalau dia cakap visible region or kalau dia bagi color green, form green light, form blue light. Okay. So, semua benda yang ada warna, it is visible region. So, it belongs to Balmer series. Okay, so now Miss akan ajar cara yang mudah untuk ingat all these five region. So, tengok jari masing-masing. Ada lima jari kan? So, daripada ibu jari, thumb, sampailah jari kelingking. So, kita start dari satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima. Okay. So, the first finger is leman. Okay. The second one is balik. The third one is pasal. The fourth one is break. The fifth one is putus. So, start from one. Leman, balik, pasal, break, putus. Okay. So, nombor satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima ni dia merujuk kepada Leman refers to Lyman and it drops to N equals to 1. Ground state ni N equals to 1. So, balik refer to Balmer. Electron drops pergi ground state dia 2. And next is pasal refer to Paschen. Electron drops pergi ground state 3. Break refer to bracket. Electrons drop to 4. Okay, ground state 4. And then putus refer to fun. Electron drops to N equals to 5 ground state-nya. Okay. So, back to this 5 finger. You can see here, ada U, V, I, I, I. Okay. So, ini adalah dia punya region. So, for Lyman, you can see here, U. Okay. So, bila kamu tengok dekat thumb, you can see, Ada bentuk U dekat jari tu. Cara nak ingat lah. This is how I remember it. Okay. And then the next one. Balma. Nampak huruf V. Okay. So untuk past chain bracket and fun. I. I. And I. Okay. So I tiga-tiga ni refer kepada apa? Infra. Red. Okay. So, first, let's recap. Lyman, ground state 1, UV region. Balma, ground state 2, visible region. Paschen, ground state 3, bracket, ground state 4, fun, ground state 5. And all these three belongs to spectrum region dia adalah infrared. Okay, senang kan nak ingat? So, kenapa kamu kena ingat? Because... Dia akan membantu kamu untuk jawab soalan. Okay, let's try to fill in this table. Energy level where electron fall from. So, maksudnya dari mana? Ini initial. So, drops to adalah dia punya ground state. Ataupun N final. Okay, so the first line here, okay, kita boleh nampak dekat sini, semua electron drops pergi n equals to 1. So, maksudnya ground state sini, mestilah jawapannya 1. So, bila ground state-nya adalah 1, maksudnya dia belongs to Lyman series. Okay, so for first line, electron fall from n equals to 2. Okay. So, the second one, electron fall from 3 to 1. Let's have a look at example 1. So, the following diagram depicts the line spectrum of hydrogen atom. Line A is the first line of the Lyman series. 
ok so alignment series tulis dekat sini dia punya and final ataupun ground state adalah n equals to 1 ok so tips untuk jawab soalan yang begini kalau dia bagi line spectrum terus tulis dekat bawah ni 1 1 1 1 1 ok so next step is kita nak tahu siapa yang first line So, first line cari biggest gap. Okay, so biggest gap start daripada A. Sini. Okay, so ini first line. Kita tengok. Biggest gap dengan second line ni. Compared to D dengan E. Ini smaller gap kan. So, biggest line is between A dan B. So, that means... This is the first line. Okay, so, first line untuk Lyman series, electron akan fall to n equals to 1. Ini dia punya ground state. So, untuk hasilkan series yang per, sorry, line yang pertama, electron must drop from n equals to 2, drops to n equals to 1. Okay, so, tulis 2 dekat sini. So, the second line tu macam mana dia hasilkan bila electron drops from n equals to 3 pergi n equals to 1, 3. Okay. 4, 5 and 6. Macam tu lah. Okay. So, senang je. So, I repeat. Bila kita ada line spectrum begini. First, kita tentukan dia series apa? Lyman series. So, kita tentukan dia punya end final ataupun dia punya ground state. Okay, so bila dah tahu ground state, contoh Lyman series kita tahu. Lyman, Lehman balik pasal break putus yang first. So, kita tulis satu dekat bahagian bawah. Okay, so dia start daripada n equals to berapa? So, mestilah start daripada the minimum dia kena the minimum dia kena start n equals to 2. So, terus tulis dekat sini. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. So, from there, senang kamu nak tentukan jawapan yang seterusnya. Specify the increasing order of the emitted photon. So, which line correspond to the shortest wavelength? Okay. So, kita dah tentukan dah tadi. First So, kita dah tentukan first line. So, first line adalah dekat sini. So, refer back to the relationship delta E equals to. Okay, so from this formula, kita boleh tengok dia punya relationship. So, from left to right, delta E semakin besar. Okay, then wavelength semakin kecil, smaller. Okay, frekuensi pula sama dengan delta E tadi semakin besar. So, which line correspond to the shortest wavelength? Okay, so which line it is? Line E. Okay, okay. so which line has the lowest frequency? So, frekuensi, so ni lah yang lowest frequency which is line A. Okay. So, if the question asks you, sketch the energy level diagram. So, kita draw the axis. Ini energy. And then, garis untuk the first energy level. N equals to 1. Since kita tahu dia adalah Lyman series. Okay. So, since ini tadi kita dah buat Lyman series. Satu, satu. Okay. Ground state ni kita tahu satu. And start daripada 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so, ini biggest gap. So, means this is the first line. Okay. So, macam mana nak hasilkan transition first line ni? Okay, mesti ada. Dia punya line, gap between each line ni, mestilah semakin closer. Okay, semakin so rapat to one another as you increase in the level. Okay, so kita nak tulis this first transition.
So ini adalah dia punya energy level diagram. Alright, so let's have a look at example 2. Describe the transition of electron that leads to line W and Y respectively. Okay, so ini dia minta describe. So kita kena cerita macam mana formation of this line spectrum. So, so macam mana kita nak tentukan dia punya transition tu daripada N berapa ke N berapa. So first, tengok hint dia dia bagi. Balmer series. So, Balmer series we know that ground state dia leman balik. Yang kedua. So, N equals to 2. So, tulis dekat bawah ni 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. Okay. So, maksudnya elektron akan drop pergi ground state finalnya adalah N equals to 2. Alright. So, second thing is kita cari dia punya biggest so, biggest gap, okay, dekat bahagian kiri ataupun kanan. So, this one yang ada biggest gap. So, this will be the first line, second, third, fourth and fifth lah. Okay, so, untuk Balmer series, dia akan start daripada berapa? Okay, so dia akan start daripada n equals to 3 so label lah 3 4 5 6 7 ok so kita tengok soalan dia tanya line W dan line Y so line W here is the transition from n equals to n equals to 4 drops to n equals to 2 and untuk line Y here it is the transition from n equals to 7 drops to n equals to 2. Okay, so itu cara kita translate line spectrum. Okay, so the significance of this atomic spectra. Okay, so in Lyman series, the frequency of the convergence of spectral line can be used to find the ionization energy for the hydrogen atom. So, i.e. ionization energy is equals to Planck constant time frequency. So, frequency ni untuk V infinity which is the convergence limit. Okay, so the frequency of the first line of the Lyman series will be more than the frequency of the first line of Balmer series. Okay, so from here, kita tahu frequency from left to right from left to right okay, so frequency dia sama dengan delta E okay, frequency is getting bigger okay, so untuk Balmer series which of the line in the Bastion series correspond to the longest wavelength of photon. So, macam yang tadi kita belajar lah. Kita buat dulu relationship delta E equals to HC over lambda. Okay. So, delta E is inversely proportional to wavelength. Okay. So, from this line spectrum identify siapa first line dulu. Cari biggest gap means ini adalah first line. Alright, so for line A, it has the longest wavelength. Okay, so describe the transition of the electron that give rise to this line. Macam mana line ni in dihasilkan? So since we know it is past chain series, okay, macam mana kita nak describe transition of the electron here? Okay, so ingat the five region finger, leman balik pasar, break putus. Okay, so pasien is jari yang ketiga. Okay, so means pasien is dia punya energy level and final adalah tiga. Ground state nya adalah n equals to three. Okay, so tulis dekat bahagian bawah ni tiga. 3, 3, 3, 3 Ok, so macam mana kita hasilkan the first line? 
mestilah from the transition of electron daripada n equals to 4 pergi n equals to 3 ok so let's have a look at this test yourself ok so I want you to do it on your own but miss akan bagi hint lah ok so from this line spectrum ok kita tahu dia adalah Lyman series ok so Lyman series ground state ni adalah n equals to 1 so tulis dekat semua bahagian ni ok so next kita cari biggest gap so biggest gap you can see it's here ok so first line start daripada mana start daripada yang paling hujung ok so this is the first line ok so maksudnya R adalah second third and so on lah ok so bila dah macam tu N equals to 2 akan bermula daripada sini 2 3 4 5 6 7 and so on lah ok so bila kita nak calculate energy correspond to line Q so line Q adalah yang ini so macam mana line Q dihasilkan from transition of electron from n equals to 4 to n equals to 1 ok so kita kena guna formula delta E nanti kamu substitute kan initial so initial and then ini final ok so 4 power of 2 1 to the power of 2 and then you will get the answer delta E berapa